Well, I've shown it before, the fact that Hinduism is not a peaceful, pluralistic religion. And in many ways, Hinduism is every bit as bloody, bloodthirsty and violent as Islam and Roman Catholicism. But here's just another example just proving my point. That Hinduism is just is no different than Islam or Catholicism. It says here on uh, hindutvawatch.org, Hindutva men barge in the Christian family's house, burn the Bible in Karna, Karnataka, I think that's how I say it. Basically, it's these Hindus just doing what Hindus do best. You know, persecuting non-Hindus. It's that simple. Because like I said, the Muslim terrorists are not terrorists, they're just Muslim. And likewise, the Hindu terrorists are not terrorists. They're just being good Hindus, they're just being true to their Hindu texts. But it says here on Hindu to a watch, at least four Hindu to a man barged into a house of a Christian family at Mu village uh, in the district of, I, I can't pronounce these names, and this dist it's basically a district in Karn Karnataka, whatever, on Tuesday evening and set a Bible on fire. The house belonged to Ikatamama. Again, I, I'm not good at pronouncing his name, so just bear with me. A 62-year-old Christian lady. The assailants entered her home, questioned those who were inside as to why they were holding prayers in the house, and burnt the Bible. India Today reported. So here's the, here's the thing. So they came and hold private prayer ceremony, pr private prayer uh, sessions in their own home. Because why? Well, like I said, Hinduism is every bit as a danger to church, a church-state separation as militant atheism or Catholicism or, or Islam or anything else. Because these Hindus, they want a theocracy, and they're against church-state separation, and they're against religious freedom. When you, I mean, not all Hindus, you know, a hashtag not all, but Hindus that are true to their texts, what are they going to do? Well, kill all the non-Hindus and establish a Hindu theocracy. And if you don't believe me, I have an article on my website showing the, the Hindu texts themselves calling for violence against non-Hindus. So it's not just me ranting and raving up here. This is what the Hindu texts command. They're just, they're just being true to their Hindu texts. Anyway, back to the article. She's a 62-year-old Christian lady, went to a church... Uh, because she was not feeling well, she was informed. Uh, she infor also informed her father, Rama Naik, that people from the church went to her house in the evening and to hold prayers. And when they were on their way back, at least four of them, they created a ruckus and asked why they were holding prayers in the house. Uh, India Today quotes Parashurama, I think that's how I say it, the SP of the whatever. Again, I'm not good at saying these names. The assailants are members of the Bandrang Dal. According to public TV, the Hindu twin men also accused the Christian family of forced religious conversion. You know what the ironic thing about that is? The Hindus also forcibly convert people to Hinduism. I mean, there's been several examples of these Hindu thugs basically forcibly converting non-Hindus to Hinduism. So they really have no moral grounds to call, oh, you're forcibly converting people. It's a bunch of garbage. But like I said, this is the true fruits of Hinduism. See, Hinduism is not a peaceful, pluralistic religion. Don't, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. This is the true fruits of Hinduism. See, when you read their text, they're just doing what the texts say to terrorize the non-Hindus, which their text also refers to as infidels. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. This is kind of just a rant on the spot, uh, just further proving my point, the truth about Hinduism. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.